my name is Lisa Lehman, and we're going to do a basic beginner's yoga class. Feel free to set your own pace, feel free to do the pose that feel good for you. Any pose that does not feel good for you, just don't do that pose. You want to go to the point where you're challenging yourself, but there's no pain associated with anything that we do during class. With that, my name is Leslie. Again, we'll start with breath. Bring your hands to your belly, close your eyes, sit up nice and tall. Take a nice deep breath in through the nose all the way through the belly. Letting the belly expand with the breath. And then exhale, pull the navel in, rolling the breath out through the nose. Inhale, nice deep cleansing breath. Fill the belly. The belly expand with the breath. And exhale, pull the navel in, rolling the breath out through the nose. Inhale, nice deep cleansing breath. Let the belly expand with the breath. And exhale, roll the breath out through the nose. Starting to work on the uja breath. Inhale, nice deep cleansing breath. Fill the belly. On the exhale, ha out through the mouth. <sighs> Inhale, nice deep cleansing breath. Fill the belly. And exhale, ha. Inhale, nice deep cleansing breath. Fill the belly. And exhale, ha. Same breath with the mouth closed. Inhale, nice deep cleansing breath. Fill the belly. And then roll the breath out in that same ha, but out through the nose. You're slowing the breath down, you're glad this indentation of your throat and off the roof of the mouth of, of your mouth. Inhale, nice deep cleansing breath, fill the belly. And exhale, roll the breath out. Try to maintain this breath throughout the practice. Nice deep inhales through the nose, all the way to the belly, and letting the belly expand. And then exhale, roll the breath out through the nose in an audible exhale if possible. On your next inhale, sweep the arms up. Bring your palms together, exhaling past the third eye, and then to the heart. In our jump. Bring the palms together, exhaling past the third eye, and then to the heart. In our jump. Bring the palms together, exhaling past the third eye, and then to the heart. In our jump. Interlace your fingers and press the palms to the sky. And then exhale, press your palms forward, tap the navel, tap the chin. In our jump, lengthen. And then exhale around. Feel free to sit your own pace here. Just go with your own breath. Inhale as you lengthen up. And then exhale as you round. One more. Inhale, lengthen. And then exhale round. On your inhale, press forward. And then exhale round back just as far as you like. Inhale, lengthen forward. And then exhale round back. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale round. Next time you lengthen forward, you're going to roll to your right and take it all the way around. And let this moment be your moment to take your practice internally. Let go of any external distractions, judgment, ego, comparisons. And just feel what feels appropriate for your body and honor that throughout the class. Next time you reach forward, go the opposite way. I even want to close your eyes and just go completely internally. As you roll around and free, feel into a freedom of movement, an expression of your body and your breath. And the next time you reach forward, press through the palms. And then on the exhale, round back. On the inhale, reach up nice and tall. On the exhale, release your arms by your sides. On the inhale, lift your shoulders up to your ears. Here, drop your shoulders and exhale up the mouth. And do that one two more times. Inhale, lift. Exhale, drop. One more. Inhale, lift. And exhale, drop. Beautiful. Inhale, lift the shoulders. Roll them onto your back. And around. Nice big shoulder rolls, massaging out some of the tightness and tension and stress that we hold on to. And harbor, we're just going to roll it out. And the next time your shoulders lift up to your ears, roll them forward, down, and around. Nice big roll. Breathing into the shoulders, feeling into your ligaments, your bones, your tendons, your muscles, and just letting some of that tightness go. Feeling into your softness. And the next time your shoulders lift up to your ears, roll them down the back. And then from here, let's extend just your left leg forward. Keep the right knee back. Flex your left foot, and then inhale, come up, center. 
And then exhale, take the left arm down your left leg. Take the right arm over the ear, keeping the arms in line with your torso. On your inhale, you'll take your right hand behind you, take the left arm up. So this is your first option. On the exhale, you'll take your left arm down your left leg, right arm over the ear. Your second option is you take your right hand back. You'll take the left arm up, roll onto your right knee, and point your left toes to the earth, and lift your hips off the earth. And then on the exhale, you'll take it down, flexing your left foot, take the right arm over the ear. And I'll come up with or without the hips lifting. Point your left toes. Flex your left foot as you come down. For six more, go with your own pain. Remember the inhale is up. On the exhale, take the right arm over the ear. Five. Find expression and freedom in your movement as you warm up the body. Four. Doing great. Three more. Exhale down, and inhale up, two more, inhale up, two right, one more, and next time we come up, hold here for eight, hips can be down or hips can be up, seven, six, point your left toes, five, four, three, a little more, two, one, beautiful, lower the hips, flex your left foot, Take the right arm up and over the ear for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, a little more, two. One, inhale, come up, and then exhale, open your hands to your heart. And then send your right leg into a full straddle. And then just setting yourself. And you only want to open up your legs as far as you can sit up tall. So if you feel like you're rounding back, just narrow those legs in. From here, we'll inhale and we'll reach up nice and tall. We're down to the sit bones. If you need to bend your knees, bend your knees. On the exhale, you'll hinge forward, lengthen the waistline, reach for your toes, and then inhale, come up. Use length here, and then use this length to go deeper into your fold. First, seven more. Exhale into your straddle fold. Inhale into your straddle extension for four more. Stretching out those hamstrings. Feel free to keep those knees up if your hamstrings are tight. If you can't reach for the ball of the foot, maybe give it a little tie, get a little more of a stretch. Two more. And the next time you take the straddle fold, hold here. Extending forward through the crown of the head, pulling the belly in tight. Two for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, a little more, two, one. Inhale, come all the way up, and exhale to the heart. Bend your left knee, keep the right leg extended into a half straddle, and then inhale, reach up. Exhale, take the right arm down your right leg, take the left arm over the ear. On the inhale, take the left hand behind you, take the right arm up, stay here, point your right toes. Exhale, take the right arm down your right leg, left arm over the ear. Inhale, come up, come on, roll onto your left knee, lifting your hips. Find a little bit more expression if that feels good for your body today. And just set your own pace with your breath, you're inhaling up as you point your toes and your hips may or may not lift, and then taking the left arm over the ear and exhale. About five more. Nice deep breath. And just allow yourself to get let go a little bit more, feel a little bit more freedom and movement from one side to the other. And just allow yourself to come into a rhythm that feels right. That's good. And we'll do two more. Just opening up. And the next time you make your way up, hold here, hips lifted or hips down. Lengthen your right arm over your ear, point your right toes for eight, two, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, a little more, two, one, you the lower the hips, take the right arm down your right leg, take the left arm over the ear, hold here for eight, seven, breathe deep, six, five, four, three, a little more, two, one, inhale, come up, reach up nice and tall, and then axe out the heart. And then you'll extend both legs forward, coming into staff pose. Center yourself on the mat so you have enough room to roll back. Flex your feet. We're down to the sit bones and inhale, reach up nice and tall. And then exhale, we'll lengthen forward into a fold. Hold here. Keep the hands on your legs wherever they're at. And inhale, lengthen up. And then exhale, sink down. Let's do that two more times. Inhale, lengthen. And then exhale, deepen. One more. Inhale, lengthen. And then exhale, fold. And then inhale, reach up for the sky nice and tall. And we'll do a little core work here. So you're in 
Uh, I'm sorry, C curve the spine as you reach forward, pull the belly in tight. And then inhale, come up on the top as far back as you can come up. So challenge yourself here, but don't go past that challenge point where you can't get back up. And if you do, that's okay. You'll know, and you'll find more awareness and mindfulness as the next time you find up. Trying to build up strength. Going to that challenge point. You're doing great. Four more. Firm with the legs and flex the feet. Your legs are helping you lift and lower. Two more. And one more. And reach up nice and tall, beautiful. And then how about the belly and roll all the way down. As you come all the way down, interlace your fingers and press your hands away from the crowd head as you point your toes. Get nice and long, body stretch. And then keeping the hands interlaced, we're going to cup the back of our head and work some core. So let's bend the knees. And just have your soles and feet on the floor, heels in close to your seat, elbows wide. And just a regular crunch here. Exhale up, inhale down for 10 and 9. And remember to lift your head from your bells. Your hands are there just for support. 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Hold the crunch. Bring your right knee in. And then extend your right leg as you lower the head. Bring the right knee in. Exhale. And then extend for 8. Seven, six, five. Remember to lift your head from your abdominals, not your hands. Four, pull the belly tight. Three, two, and then hold here. Hold your abdominals in tight, and then just your right leg ascends and bends for eight. Working the right hip flexor. Seven and knee. Six, five, four. Doing great. Press away, sun and head, neck and shoulders up and looking at your knee. Two more. And then keep that extension. Lift your right leg straight up. Reach up with your right hand to your toes and then lower down. For ten. Lift and lower. For nine. Eight. Seven. So you can flex your right foot, get a hamstring stretch. Six. Five. Four. Three. Doing great. Two. And then hold here. A little pulse for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and awesome. We'll take both hands behind your right thigh. Let your head rest down. From here, hamstring stretch. You'll press your thigh in your hands. Pull your hands in towards your chest, but keep that leg centered over the hip. Stay here. Work an isometric stretch your hamstring or you can walk up the calf, bring your forehead towards the shin, maybe extend your left leg forward into a split stretch for eight. Pull the nine tight, whatever suits you. Seven, six, five, four, three, a little bit more, two, one, beautiful walk down the leg. Bring both knees in, take a little gentle sway side to side. And then bring your left foot to the ground, right foot to the ground. Interlace your fingers, press the palms up. And then you reach and cup underneath your head. And then just back to that regular crunch. Or lift your head from your belt for eight. And with the core work, just do as much as you can. Take a break when you need to. Six, five, four, three, two. Hold the crunch. Bring your left knee in. Extend your left leg as you lower your head for eight. Seven. Six, five, two, eight, four, three, to come up, see her the spine, and then your shoulders lifting, pulling the belly tight, two, and then hold here, and then you'll extend and bend for eight, working the knee and the hip flexor, eight, press the waistline down, six, yield your core working, five, four, point your toes, three, two, and then keep the leg straight, lift your left leg straight up, flex the foot, reach up with your left hand, and then lower down for nine, eight, seven, six, got this, five, pull the on tight, four, feel free to send a slower pace or a faster pace, three, two, 
And the next time you lift, pulse for 10, 9, try to tap, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and awesome. Bring your left hand behind your thigh, take your right hand behind your thigh, interlace your hands, let your head rest back. Press your thigh into your hands as you hug your hands in towards your chest, but your leg will stay neutral right at hip height. Stay here, great isometric release of the hamstrings, or if you want, you can walk up the calf. You can lift your forehead towards the shin if you like. You can extend your right leg forward. Any combination that feels right for you for eight, seven, six, a little bit more, five, four, three, let's get two, one, walk and leg. Bring both knees in, take a gentle sway side to side. Do great. And then from here, we're going to have one last set of core work. Interlace your fingers, keep those knees table topped over the hips. Interlace your fingers, cut the back crunch, just at regular punch for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Extend your legs up if that feels okay, or keep your knees bent. Cross, last set of crosses for eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two more, one more. Awesome. And then center yourself, reach forward, one hand or both. Pulse, see if you can dive, make some of those legs maybe, or keep them centered for eight, seven, six, five, we're almost there, four, three, two, Hold, so you can dive and extend a little further and lift the shoulders a little bit higher for eight. Pull the belly tight, seven, firm up the leg, six, spread your toes, five, four, bring on two, one, awesome, bring the knees in, let your head rest and take a gentle sway side to side. Awesome core work. And then we'll just release it back a little bit. Let's bring the one foot to the earth, bring the other foot to the earth. Bring your arms by your sides, palms facing down. And we'll do some bridge roll-ups, so your gaze will be straight up, arms by your sides, heels close to your seat, and then we'll tuck, or you'll press the waistline down, lift the tail, and lift the waistline, lift each vertebra nice and slowly, and then you'll roll back down. Just, just start slowly, um, not a big extension at first, just gently start to work up to a little bit higher of a hip lift, and you'll roll down vertebra by vertebra, Waistline and then tailbone. And then start over, tailbone lifts, waistline lifts, each vertebra lifts, gaze straight up, and then roll back down. Massaging your back, letting go of some of the tightness. I'll try four more of these. It's nice and gentle. Finding awareness and consciousness as you roll each vertebra up, pause when you get to the shoulder blades, and then roll back down. Try to keep the knees evenly parallel, don't let them go out the sides, or rotate inwardly, just keep them neutrally parallel. Three more. Two and great. Two more. Exhale up. And inhale down. And one more. Hold here for eight. Lift your right foot, roll the shoulder in your back, interlace your hands on your seat, get a little bit more if you like. Seven, six, five, four, a little bit higher. Three, two, one, release your hands, roll the back down. And then bring one knee into your chest, bring the other knee into your chest. And then bring your knees into your armpits, reach up for that happy baby. So the first two fingers wrap the inside of the big toe, thumb to the outside, just gently release side to side, massaging out some of that tightness, massage your back then. See if you can pull down a little bit more, your head is resting down, and then brief extension into a full straddle, opening up just as far as you can, with or without the toe hold. You can also take hands to the inner calves or the inner thighs. And then we'll bend the knees, bring the soles of the feet together, and reach underneath your ankles, or underneath your heels to your outside of your ankles. Let your head rest. Down the ankle. 
and we'll have a little bit of fun here. And this is always playful, and if it doesn't feel right, just don't do it. We're going to see if you can rock that. And this will you'll feel kind of like an egg. You know, rock up in your pause. And then you roll down. And up. pull the belly and pause. You got this. Massage in the back bone. If this doesn't feel right for you, then just stay down on your back and roll side to side. It's great for the back too. And if you roll off the side, just like an egg, just come right back to it and try again. You got this. Just play with it, have fun. And the next time you come up, pull up here. And blossoming lotus. Let's take the palms up and pull the belly tight. Lift our right. Hold for eight, seven, six. Five, four, three little more, two, one, beautiful, and then release. And we'll go on to a twisted bit. So you'll take your left leg forward, take your right hand to the inside side of your left foot, or calf, or thigh. Take your left hand behind you, lift your heart nice and tall. Stay here, look over your left shoulder, or you can extend your right leg forward. Then you can lift your left arm up into a balancing twisted bit for eight. Seven, six, keep lifting and lengthening, twisting from the waist on five, four, three, little four, two, one, beautiful, take that right foot down, and take your left hand to your right foot, or calf, or thigh, wherever you have your foothold. hold. Belly's and tight, stay here, or find the balance, and a half, fold it both for eight, seven, pull the belly tight, six, five, little more, a little bit of extension as you lift your heart, three, Two, one, beautiful, bend the knee, and then release your left foot to the ground. And then from here, take the right hand behind you, take your right leg extended, take the left hand to the inside of the foot, and lift your heart. Or you can take the inside of the calf, or the inside of the thigh. From here, stay here and look over your right shoulder, or you can extend your left leg forward. If you want, pick up your right hand, look towards your right hand for eight. Firm with both legs, seven, six, five, Four, a little bit more, three, two, one, bend your left knee, reach forward with your right hand, the foot, calf, ankle, whatever you have to hold on, pull the belly tight, lift your heart, and then if you want, extend your left leg forward, pull the belly tight, great, keep lifting up, seven, six, five, four, three, a little bit more, two, one, beautiful, bend your left knee, bend your right knee, and release. From here, let's take those knees back and bring your hands forward into a tabletop position. And in your tabletop position, just make sure those knees are directly on the hips and the shoulders right over the wrists and the fingers are spread wide. And we'll stretch out the wrists a little bit. So let's take our right fingers off to the side or turn your right fingers back towards your knee. And then you can stay centered or you can pull back. Just whatever suits you, whatever suits your practice. And then we'll take it forward, and then we'll switch. So your right fingers will turn forward, your left fingers will turn out to the side, or all the way back. And then you'll stay centered, or pull back. That's good, you're doing great. And then come back to center. Turn your left fingers forward, and then you'll either turn both hands out to the side, or all the way back. Just whatever suits your wrist today. And either stay here, a great stretch, or pull back. Just whatever feels good for your wrist today. And then come back to center. Take one hand forward and then the other hand forward. And we'll go into our cat cows. So in cow position, you want to lift your tailbone, lower your belly, lift your face. On the exhale, you're going to go into cat, tuck in the tail, lead with your tailbone, lift the navel, tuck the shin, and then pull up. And a little palm lift. Pressing your fingers to the earth like a piano hand or a grasshopper. And then on the inhale, you'll lower the palms, lift the tailbone, lower the belly, and lift your gaze. And then just set your own pace here. On the exhale, you go into cat, with or without the palm lift. On the inhale, in the cow. And just set your own pace here. Exhale as you round in the cat. And inhale as you open up into your cow. You just want the movement to be free and expressive. And just letting go of some of that tightness. In your body, in your spine. Nice deep breaths. Massaging through the hips and the shoulders. As we warm up our spine, just a little bit more. Beautiful. And then we'll find a neutral tabletop. 
and feel free to take it down to your elbows if you need to. We're going to take the right leg, extend back into half spinal balance. And then if you like, take your left arm forward, make sure the right, arm, right wrist is right on the right shoulder, hold here for eight, seven, pull the belly tight, six, if you need to pad that left knee, pad that left knee, five, four, three, a little bit more, two, one, take the left hand down, take the right knee down, we'll switch sides, you'll extend your left leg back, keeping the knee parallel to the earth, not opening up your hip, pull the belly in tight, as you extend your right arm forward, hold here, for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, a little bit more, two, one, and then we'll go back to the right leg. Take your left arm forward if you'd like. Keep the left hand down if that feels better. You can be on your elbows also. For eight, seven, find extension length, six, five, four, three, you got this, two, one, six sides. Take your left leg back, take the right arm forward, hold here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, a little bit more, two, one, bring it down, and then we're going to alternate spinal balances. So you'll take your right leg back, you want to add the left arm, and then the left leg back, right arm. See what you can do for eight, gaze is forward and down. Seven, keep the belly tight, lose your balance, come back to it. Find a more awareness and consciousness. Six, find length. Breathe in your spine. Four more, you got this. Three, two more. One more. And then you'll take the right leg back, bend your right knee, reach your right foot to your left hand, and then bring your right heel back to the right side of your body. Press your foot in your hand as you lift your heart for eight. And a dancer variation on tabletop. Seven, six, five, four, three, a little more, two, one, and release. And we'll switch sides, extend your left leg back, take your right arm forward if you like. And then sweep your right hand back, bend your left knee, cross your left foot to your right hand, and then bring your left heel back to the left side of your body. Press your foot in your hand as you lift your heart. Dance every variation for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, a little more, cheap, one, beautiful, and then release. Good job. From here, we're going to take your hands slightly forward. We'll get off the hands very soon. Tuck your toes under. Press into the balls of the feet, pull the belly in tight, and then lift your knees down dog. <clears throat> Go right to the alternate knee bends, and as you're working through the calves and the hamstrings, look at your hands, make sure the fingers are spread evenly wide. Shoulders are lengthened away from the ears. You're pressing your thighs back as you lift and lengthen the sit bones down into the sky, hollowing out your armpits. Your elbows are just slightly micro of that. Nice deep breath here. And then find stillness. So you can lift both heels up and then lower both heels. Two more times. Lift your heels. Lower your heels. One more. And beautiful. Walk your hands back towards your toes. And come into a forward fold. Deepen into the fold. Nice deep breath here. Take your rag doll if you like. Take your hands your opposite elbows if that feels okay for your balance. Maybe sway a little bit side to side. Really nice and loose and fluid, release from the lower back. And then find stillness, release your hands to the earth, bring your hands behind your calves and just start to press into the calves, giving yourself a little massage. Fingertip circles up the calves, chest and tight to your thighs. Go behind the knees, a little massage of the hamstrings, up the backs of your thighs, right between the hamstrings, all the way up the thighs. Give yourself a little massage. You might find a marma point where the energy is very strong. And then just go past your seat to either side of your spine. Circle massage, not directly on the spine. Circle massage, just as far as your shoulders will allow. And then back down the spine to the base of your spine. Interlace your fingers, roll the shoulder back, press the heels of the hands together as you lift your hands away from your back. 
and then pull the belly in tight as you lift your hands up to the sky to lift your chest up and then pull the hands back and then down as you lift your heart and your hips come forward. Beautiful. And then release your arms and reach out to the sky. Interlace your fingers, first fingers point up, thumbs cross. Bring your arms over to your right, standing crescent, hips up to your left, lengthening and breathing as you keep the arms in line with your ears. Contract your right oblique as you lengthen the left. And then come back to center. Bring your arms over to your left, hips out to your right. Lengthen and breathe. Give a little stretch in your spine. Looks good. And then come back to center. And then bring the hands to your heart. You'll turn the feet out until you come to just about mat width with the toes turned out at 10 and 2. And then inhale, reach up nice and tall. And then exhale, sink down into your squat. Inhale up. And exhale, lower for eight. Exhale, seven. Exhale, six. Find up here, five. Try to relax your hips, four. Two, great. Three. Inhale, two. And then we're going to stay low, hold here for eight. Just as low as your hamstrings, your knees will allow. Feel free to come out of the pose at any time for eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, little more, two, one, beautiful. And up, come all the way up. And then exhale to the heart. Feel to those feet in. Doing great. Step to the front of the mat. Feet right hip width apart. And I'll reach up. And then exhale, we're going to bend our knees, bring the hands to your heart. We'll do some warrior step back. So you're going to step your left foot back, spinning the heel down, right knees bent. And then you'll step your left foot forward, both knees bent, arms high, chair. Left foot steps back, heel down, warrior step back, inhale, chair. For seven more. The distance you step back is up to you. The further you step back, the more challenging it is. So just listen to your body, listen to your balance today. For four. Inhale, forward. Three, do great. Two, and the next time you step back, hold here. From here, make sure your front toes are 12, your front knees right over your ankle, open up the arms and warrior two. From here, just a roll the shoulder back, pull the belly in and up, and we'll take the right palm forward, reach, take that extension up and over the head, reverse warrior. On the exhale, you'll take your right elbow to the midpoint of your thigh. The left arm comes up or over the ear, side angle. Inhale, reverse for you. And exhale, side angle. Just set your own pace here. If you want to go a little bit further in your side angle, you can take the right arm to the inside the leg. Wherever you want to go with your pose. Left arm still up or over the ear. Keep the arms in line with the torso. High the obliques in tight. Keep that right knee right of the ankle. Three more. And up. Two. Do right. The next time you come to the side angle, hold here for eight. Seven. Six. Roll that left hip towards the mandarin wall behind you. Four. Three, more, two. One, beautiful. Keep the front knee bent as you take the right arm up and over the head. Reverse warrior. Nice deep breath here for eight. Seven, six, you're doing great. Five, four, a little bit more. Three, two, one, beautiful. And then take the right arm forward, left arm back, and we'll get a little shoulder stretch down. Take your left arm under the right, cross your elbows, and bring the hands to the shoulders or bring the palms together. Eagle, warrior. Inhale, open up, warrior two. Exhale, cross your left arm under the right. Inhale, warrior two. For eight. Inhale, left shoulder and left hip moving forward, right hip and the right shoulder moving back. So you can cross the left arm under the right. Remember the hands to the shoulders or the palms coming together, it doesn't matter which one. Just sort of a sit suit day for three more. And two. Doing great. And then hold here. Ego warrior, hands to the shoulders or palms together. Inhale, take your hands up, lift your arms. Exhale, pull the belly tight, get low, humble. Inhale, go to a depth that suits you. Go to a length of a back bend that suits you. You can either come above the thigh or to the inside of the knee. 
Bring your forehead as close to the earth as possible. Just make sure that front knee stays right at the ankle. Pull the belly in and up to engage your core as you come down and up. You're doing great. Let's do three more. Exhale down. And inhale up. Two more. Exhale down. And inhale up. One more. Exhale down. And inhale up. And then exhale down and hold. Sink down now. Forehead towards the earth. Belly is in time. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, a little bit more. Two, one. Pull the belly tight. Come up. Back then if you like. For eight. Seven, firm plank, six, five, a little more, four, round two, one, come to center, release your arms into warrior two, beautiful, and then bring the back hand to the front, bring the hands to your heart, and step forward, in arch all the way up, and then exhale to the heart, two more, just slow it down for a moment, exhale the heart, one more, before we do the other side, we're going to do a few more spots, but a narrow spot this time, Turn your heels in, toes out. In our jump. And then exhale, sink down. Keep the heels down, or you can lift the heels to come down as slow as you like. For eight. Sit with those inner thighs as you come up. Seven. Strong your quads. Six. Five. Four more. Three. Two, and one more, hold here for eight, you're going to come out of it, come out of it, seven, six, five, four, three, little more, two, one, pull the body tight, come up, nice and tall, we'll work those calves a little bit, and your balance, lift your heels up and lower, for eight, seven, sit both those inner thighs, pull the belly in and up, four, hands to be at the heart for balance, also three, and two, and then hold for eight, seven, six, just do the best you can balance. Maintain a focal point for a small spot near rising. Three, two, one, beautiful. Lower the heels, bring the hands to your heart, turn your feet parallel. And we'll do warrior steps back on the other side. In our jump, and then add seven knees. Step your right foot back, spin in the heel down, and then inhale, step your right foot forward. Axel, step back, inhale forward. For eight, keep lifting up. Seven, in and And six, two, great. Five, in and Four, in Three, in And two. And the next time you step back, hold here. Front knees bent right of the ankle, open up the arms. Shoulder, arms line with your shoulders, pull the belly in and up, and lengthen. From here, we're going to flip your left palm forward and up, and reach over the head, reverse warrior. On the exhale, take the left elbow to the midpoint of your thigh, take the right arm up or over the ear, keeping the arm in line with your ear. Keep your front knee bent as you take the left arm up and over the head, reverse warrior. You can also take the left arm to the inside of your leg or the outside line, whatever suits you. Set your own pace here, hugging the legs into the midline. As you reach up into reverse warrior, the inhale and exhale to your side angle. Keep lengthen your side body. Pull the belly tight to engage your core. Let's go. For four more, find a depth that works for you today. Three. You're doing great. Two more. And next time we come into a side angle, hold here for eight, seven, right arms up or over the ear, six, five, four, legs are strong, three, two, one, be able to bend, and then take the left arm up and over the head, keep the front knee bent, and reverse warrior for eight, seven, six, five, four, a little bit more, three, do your right, two, and then open up into warrior two, and then we'll work those shoulders into eagle warrior. So you'll cross your right arm under the left, cross your elbows, hands to the shoulders, or palms together. Inhale, open up, warrior two. Move the right shoulder and the right hip forward, left shoulder and left hip move back to even out the shoulders so you can cross those elbows. 
Working the shoulder blades, stretching them, letting go of some of the tension and stress that we hold there. Working the waistline here too, and range of motion in the hip of the right side. Four more. Doing great. Three. Inhale. And two. And next time you come into Eagle Warrior, hold here. From here, it'll be an inhale up. And then on the exhale, pull the belly tight, get low. Either to the top of the thigh or to the inside leg. Inhale up. And exhale, lower. Strong belly. For six, firmly plant your feet to the earth. Exhale down. Five. Firm with the left quad as you bring your forward a little bit lower. Four, two, and great. Keep breathing. Three, exhale. Two more. Belly's in tight. One more. Next time you come down and humble your hold. See if you can bring the forehead as close to the earth as possible. Keep that left knee over your ankle for eight. Pull the belly in and up. Six, five. Relax your jaw, relax your forehead. Three. Two, one, pull the belly tight, make your way up and to the back bend for eight. Lift your elbows sky. Six, five, four, three, little more, two, one, come to center, release your arms. Four, your two, beautiful. In the back hand in the front, bring the hands to your heart and step forward. Doing great. In our reach up, nice and tall. Uh, so higher. Just slow down. In our reach up. And exhale the heart. One more. And then exhale the heart. We're going to work on a little bit of balance. So you're at the top of your mat and you're going to step your left foot back just one to two feet behind you. Your hands will be at your heart or at your waistline. And keep a nice length in the spine, shoulders in the back, right knee slightly bent. We're just going to do a little heel lift. So you're going to take your left heel, bring it towards your seat, and then bring it down. Left heel left, working towards dancer. For eight, pull the belly tight and firm with that right leg. Seven, six, and it may be that you just want to lift the heel and lower the heel instead of the whole lift of the heel towards your seat. Two more, just listen to your body. And the next time you lift your heel up, take your left hand to the outside of the ankle and hold here. And then it feels like you get the right arm up, hold. For eight. Really pull back so the heel's coming close to your seat. Seven, six, five, four, three of your wiggling, that's okay. Two, one, and then release. Beautiful. And then we'll switch. Take your left foot forward, take your right foot one, two feet behind you, soften your left knee. Roll the shin back, stand tall. And then you can do the heel lower, heel up, or get the heel all the way towards your seat. And lower down. Left knee is going to stay back. For eight. And seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two more. And then hold here. Reach back with your right hand for the ankle at the top of the foot. Pull the belly tight. And then it feels okay to the left arm up. Stay upright so you can connect your heel close to your seat. A little micro bend in the left leg. So we're not going into dancer, we're just holding the upright position. The prep to dancer for five, four, three, a little bit more, two, one, then release gently. Step back and then step forward. Nice job. Knee arch all the way up. And then axe, so bring the hands to your heart. Bring your arms by your sides, so working a little bit more balance. You'll take your left knee up as your right hand lifts. And then you'll lower. And the left hand will lift, the right knee will lift. And keep alternating like you're marching in place. But think of the palm being connected to the knee like an invisible string. Connected energetically and mindfully. And let the lift of your palm lift the knee. Pulling the belly tight, the tailbone slightly tucks if your knee is coming higher than hip level. For five. Doing great. This is a nice stretch for the hip flexor. Four, and work hand down. Firm the standing leg. Three, pulling belly in and out to help you balance. Two, and the next one you try to hold here. Hold, 
for eight, seven, six, five, four, three little more two, one, switch legs, hold for eight, you lose your balance, come back to it, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and then release. And then inhale, come all the way up, reach up nice and tall, and then eyes so the heart. And last we're down, series. We're going to turn the heels in, the toes out. And then we'll bring our hands to our hips. And we'll do it to diagonal knee lifts. And this will work on our hip openers and um, balance at the same time. So you're going to soften the knees. So then you'll bring your left knee up, shifting your weight to your right leg. And then back down. Left knee only lifts. And then back down. For eight. Seven. Keep both hips externally rotated. Your right leg will straighten, but not lock out. And you'll shift your weight to your right leg. Four, but try to keep your center. Three, two, and then hold here. It might be just a heel lift or a full foot lift for eight. Seven, six, five. If you want to take the hand a bit outside and you lift a little bit higher, you can. Four, three, a little more. Two, one. Get a full release. And then we'll do the other side. Right knee lifts okay. and lower for eight, seven, doing great. Six, and we'll take it down to the mat for this. Five, and just for the balance, remember to do your balance. If you lose your balance, no worries, just come back to it. Try again. Three, two, and then hold here. Take the right hand to the outside, inside, or the outside, inside the knee. Hold here for eight. Seven, six, five, four, three on two, one beautiful, and then release. And then turn your feet parallel, inhale, reach all the way up. We'll take it all the way down. Take it down slowly, listen to your knees. And then from here, you'll come down however you like. Extend your legs forward, center yourself on the mat. And then inhale, reach up nice and tall. And then exhale. Hollow the belly as you roll all the way down. Interlace your fingers and press your hands away from the crown. Let get nice and long here. And then flex your feet as you press your palms up. And then we'll bend the knees. Keeping the palms for up, doing some revolving spinal twists. Let the knees go left, the arms go right. If you want a little bit more, extend your top leg. And then you'll take it back to center. Very, very gentle with the arms. Your elbows are bent. The, the top leg extension is optional. You look to your arms in the twist. Nice deep breaths. So a few more. Just letting go so that lower back tightness. Beautiful. And then come back to center. Press the palms up. And then we'll open up the knees. Soles will be come together. Reach over the crowd. The head lengthen. Reach up for the sky. Bring the knees together, extend your legs forward again, flex your feet, and then point your toes Get nice and long one more time before we go into our Shavasana. Flex your feet, and then release your arms by your sides, letting the feet sway out to the sides and court pose. And just let this moment be yours to completely let go, to relax, to connect mind, body, and heart. And feel free to take this moment for as long as you like, setting an intention for your yoga practice off the mat. Breathe calmly. And whenever you're ready to come out of the pose, feel free to come up. And we'll all bow to you and your practice, and your practice on and off the mat. Namaste.